For the latest in strategic affairs, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for updates. Hello and welcome to Strat News Global. I am Nitin Gokhale. On Tuesday, on Wednesday, in fact, uh, India uh, tested the Agni Five uh, missile uh, for uh, the uh, user, that is the uh, Indian Armed Forces uh, from Balasore in Orissa. In fact, uh, almost uh, exactly 24 hours ago, this test was carried out uh, successfully. And uh, as the press release from the Ministry of Defence said, uh, that uh, it was uh, meant to be. Uh, tested on various parameters uh, and uh, to maintain India's credible minimum deterrence uh, against uh, adversaries. So uh, it's an important milestone in the journey of Agni-5, India's longest range nuclear capable uh, or, or uh, missile capable of carrying nuclear warheads and uh, a major success uh, for DRDO which has been uh, doing uh, these tests uh, with Agni-5 and before that the entire Agni series for a long time besides other uh, missiles uh, that uh, the DRDO has designed and uh, manufactured with uh, the help of uh, Bharat Dynamics Limited. So on the program uh, this evening, uh, we are going to discuss the importance of this test, uh, what is it meant for and uh, how Indian scientists, Indian uh, MSMEs, Indian uh, companies, Indian defense companies have contributed to uh, the making of uh, Agni-5 and making it uh, mostly indigenously. Uh, joining me on this uh, gist uh, this evening is a distinguished scientist and in, in many ways father of Agni-5 series, uh, Dr. Avinash Chandra. I'll introduce you uh, to him in a moment. Uh, but remember, you're on the gist, uh, which is uh, our uh, evening program from Tuesday to Thursday. Uh, I'm Nitin Gokhale. <laughs> So, as I said, uh, my guest is distinguished scientist, uh, former DG, uh, former Secretary of uh, Research and Development, Defense Research and Development, former DG of DRDO, uh, Dr. Avinash Chandar, uh, also known as the Missile Man and specially uh, associated very closely with the development of Agni-5 uh, series of missiles. Dr. Avinash Chandar, uh, welcome and good evening. Pleasure to be here with you, Nathan. In fact, uh, you know, I remember, uh, I think it was in uh, 2008, I think uh, the Agni-5 series uh, was uh, perhaps initiated. And by 2011, uh, you had the first test of Agni. Uh, give us a little bit of the background of uh, this missile and uh, which you played a major role in uh, designing and, uh, you know, conceptualizing this uh, missile uh, with other scientists, of course, of the DRDO uh, for our viewers' benefit. So, we had the, while we were developing Agni 3, we started thinking why not we extend Agni 3 with uh, some small changes and improvements to extend the range to more than 5000 kilometers. So, the thought process started in 2008 and by 2009, we formally initiated a program for Agni 5 development and within three years i think which is the one of the fastest turnaround times across the world we developed the agni 5 launched it in 2012 we had the first test of this missile and right from day one it was a very successful test indeed we are happy uh, agni 5 is the longest uh, missile and uh, what does it uh, sort of uh, bring to the table uh, dr chandra other main points for agni 5 is that from anywhere in india it can cover our entire area of threat what we consider as our 